Hello beautiful Libra, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for allowing me into your beautiful home and your hearts and I thank you for allowing me to share this beautiful reading with you. Today we're going, obviously this is your beautiful card here, when I connected to Libra today what I understood and what I felt very strongly was in November there's going to be decisions that you're going to need to make. It's either this or it's that. You're going to have options here Libra, but you're going to have to decide between A or B. Also be super careful in November because the minute I touched your air sign, which you are, the air card, it gave me a sense of too much thinking is going to cause you to either have migraines in November or overthink things to the point where you don't think clearly anymore in order to make those decisions. So let's see what comes up for Libra. Where's Libra coming from right now, please? Where's Libra coming from right now, please? Oh, okay. The Four of Swords upside down. Libra, you may have gone through a time where you self-sabotaged yourself, your belief, who you were, you doubted your gifts. Up until now, we're saying, so this could be in the last two months, the last six months, the last year, not sure of what you wanted, not sure of where you wanted to go don't want to know about anything, don't want to be with anyone, don't want to socialise, want to be in my own, my own place, my own mind, my own body, not making decisions, I don't, I'm not interested. You may have been in a place of um, the hermit. You know, I don't know if you have Virgo in your, your chart as well, but you grounded yourself in order to find yourself. That's what I get here. You spent time on your own to be able to find yourself again or find, connect yourself with your values, connect yourself with your gifts, with your talents, with your thoughts. Soul searching here, Libra. Someone in search of what their soul was saying. Let's find out where Libra is today, please. What is Libra doing today? What's, where, where is Libra today in their mind, their body, their spirit? Two, really? Two, okay. Wow. Libra. It's exactly what we just spoke about. It's like where you are today, you had to face some demons. You had to face some reality. You had to face your fears. You've had to face adversity. You've had to look within to understand what it was that your soul and your spirit were crying out for. You felt incomplete at times. And today, you're getting yourself out of this toxic, you're moving away from toxic people, toxic environments. They no longer interest you. Anybody who brings toxicity or negativity or things that are not positive in your life you don't want to be part of that anymore it's like you've realized that life is too short to be involved in gossip be involved with toxic or negative people be involved in situations that don't make sense to you anymore you've gained a lot of strength within, strength to fight the self-doubt, to fight the self-sabotaging, to, to fight the need for somebody else to 
to approve of who you are. This is how strong you've become. You no longer today, Libra, wait for other people to tell you how good you are. You don't wait for compliments. You don't wait for uh, comprehension of others. You don't wait for your opinions to be validated by anybody else. You really are in a place of knowing who you are today. And you've now realized that what others think and what others say says more about them than what it does about you. That's why they wanted me to bring the two cards. You're no longer allowing people to manipulate you. See how here, this card here is manipulating these two people by a string. You're now strong enough to see that from afar and you're not letting anybody manipulate you in any which way. It was hard. It was a hard road. But nobody becomes a warrior without going through what they went through. And I feel here, Libra, that's who you are today, a warrior. You know, the decision making, remember I said at the beginning, I felt that it's either A or B. It's like that's what you're doing with your life going forward. You're either good or you're not. I either want this or I don't. I'm going to keep seeing this person or I'm not. You're either good for me or you're not. There's no in between with this Libra. What does November bring for Libra, please? What does November bring for Libra? Two again. Oh, Libra, Libra. Look at that. The eighth, the world, which is the end of a life as you knew it. The end of things that you no longer want to be part of your life. The end of things that no longer make sense to you. It's like what was and what is. That was me. This is me now. It, I was. I am. Do you see the, the decision? The, the two, A and the B? This is you looking at life in a totally different perspective now. And the Ace of Cups, I come with love, I give love, and I deserve love. I don't beg anybody anymore to be loved. Beautiful, Libra. Ooh. What does Libra have for November? What do we have for Libra for November, please? To follow on from the world and the Ace of Cups. The Three of Cups. Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles, the Hermit, we spoke about the Hermit, the Two of Swords, <laughs> and the Death card, which is not the Death, it's Transformation, the Transformation card, otherwise YouTube will cancel the video. It's a transformation card. Libra. Funny that this reading is exactly what we spoke about, but the other way around. 
It's like, remember I said to you, it was and now, I was, I am, that's what is happening here. The Two of Swords and the Hermit, that's the time that you took it, you took the time out that you took away from, sorry, too fast. It, this is the time that you took time out away from everybody and everything to find yourself. This is you isolating yourself to have time to think about what was important in your life. You were at a place where you were beside yourself at one stage, trying to find answers, trying to find solutions, trying to help people, trying to do everything yourself, trying to control everything. And you're exhausted. Look at that person there, totally exhausted. Until you took the time the time out on your own to think about and go through what is it that's important to me? Why do I just give and give and give and nothing gets given back in return? I feel here that for some of you here, you may have been dealing with a boss or a husband or a partner, someone who dealing with money here, who's very financially secure or very tight with money, very wise with money. Someone who was trying to control you financially. Someone who used their finances, their power and their, their influence to keep you where you were. A form of, ma of manipulation and narcissism. Remember we spoke about that here? The thing is here that what they didn't anticipate is that Libra was going to be strong. And in November, you will walk away from anybody or anything that doesn't make sense to you anymore. You will walk away from a job that you absolutely loathe. You will walk away from anybody who tries to manipulate you. You will walk away from possessions, houses, people, situations that don't make sense to you anymore or try and manipulate you to be a certain way. Be who they want you to be. Be there at their beck and call. You're going to leave behind anybody who, who manipulates you because they have got money or they're an influence or they are someone of a hierarchy. That's not going to be good enough for you anymore. You're not going to allow yourself to be manipulated anymore in November. Onwards, onwards. And there you are. You're going to be happy in November. You've got beautiful things coming your way in November, Libra. There's going to be celebration in November for you. And I feel that you're going to celebrate with two other people in your life. Or there's going to be two important people that stand out from the rest. Who you celebrate your success, who you've become, how far you've come and who you are today. You're going to celebrate your success. And here, look at that, look at that, Libra. The two best cards of the, Zodi of, of the Tarot. The Transformation card and the Chariot. This is you saying that chapter of my life 
is closed now. Everything and every everything I went through, every body that crossed my path, every situation I faced alone, every uh, name, opinion, judgment that was sent my way no longer belongs to me because I'm a different person today. And I'm going to follow my heart, my direction, my opinion, my way of doing things now. Because I no longer wait for other people's approval or other people's opinions. And it's not you being obnoxious, Libra. It's you finally with me, including me, because I'm a Libra, we are no longer going to allow others or anyone to dictate what's next for us, to manipulate who we should be and what we should be. What a powerful reading, Libra. November is that, that line in the sand of what was and what is. What message do we want to bring Libra here today, please? Tell me in the comments if you resonate with this Libra. Share, like and subscribe as that helps us immensely and it will help other Librans get this video as well that may need it. Look at the card that came out. Look at this card. It says, Libra, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Amen to all Librans. Amen to our freedom, to our belief, to our strength and to our determination and our stamina. Libra, set yourself free. And if you want to copy that and use that as a mantra for November, please do. You can take a photo of that now and say that to yourself every day in November to remind you that you are a free spirit that is not there to be manipulated or forced or told to do anything for anybody. I love that. The horse spirit. One last card for Libra. I could close it off right now, Libra. Oh, we've got a card. They want to no, they don't want us to close it off. They've got one more to tell us. Vitality. I am a being of light. I accept the divine energy in my body and everyone of my cells regenerates. Whenever someone or someone is feeling down, it's like this energy revibrates in your body, Libra, to bring that vitality back. No matter what people say, do, or judge, you don't allow yourself to fall. You may fall, but you always, always get up. That's yours, Libra. If you want to copy that too, please do, if it's clear. But that's our reading, Libra. So with that, I want to say thank you for allowing me to share this beautiful reading with you. And it's for me as well. So point taken, universe. Thank you. Amen.